Now they do the last thing in the world they yeah. want to do, which is sit around till next Tuesday. The team that wants a little break between series is a team like the Dodgers or a team like the Cubs because they need to get their rotation in order. The Mets don't have to worry about that. It doesn't matter what order they pitch these guys in. In this series, they went Harvey and then Syndergaard and then uh, DeGrom and and last night Steven Matz. But you could reverse, practically reverse that, and it would be fine. I mean, DeGrom is their number one starter. And so they don't need that. And the last thing in the world they need at a time when they're playing as well as they are is to sit around and wait. And now they'll wait and see who it is they wind up playing in the World Series as the Blue Jays bludgeon their way back into that yesterday. The World Series begins Tuesday and the last 10 seasons. Teams with at least a five day layoff between the league championship and World Series are one and five. Yeah. That's going back to 2006. So that's something you don't want. Now, the other series could have ended yesterday as well. It didn't. Kansas City will go home with two chances to win one game and advance. So they may find themselves also with a bit of a a lengthy layoff if they should wrap the thing up tomorrow night. We'll wait and see. But I I would say that's the only – and look, right now you look for a a dark cloud. No, no, you're you're not. But if you're the Mets, you don't want to break right now. No, you don't. But then they say they're they're a bunch of young kids. They should be fine. As we've always talked about in situations like this, you always find a way to spin it in your favor. So you can find a way to spin this negatively. But if you're the Mets or the Mets fans, you find a way you'll spin it positively. And we'll find out when they start on Tuesday. 